lace welcome to part two of my lace frontal series in this episode i'll be showing you how to make a wig and these are the wig caps you could use i'll be using one of this which is this one and we need needle thread we need the t-pins of course the bundles and the frontal canvas hair and a tripod i'm just gonna position my frontal make sure it's equal put in the middle there and pull the frontal just an inch above the wig cap just push, pull it slightly above the wig cap by an inch, secure it with a T-pin, and then pull the back in the middle and secure it like so. So that needs to be a straight line, flat like so, and then you take the sides with a T-pin and pin it straight like so at the side, just like so. It needs to be flat and knit, just like that, so you can sew it. And we'll do the same for the other side. So now we've positioned our frontal, I'm just going to take the hair out of the way, put some thread through my needle, and tie the knots at the end. And then use my scissors to just cut it. I'll start in the middle guys, so um, that's kind of the key place to start. I'm using my left hand so you can see what I'm doing. Um, pull it through like so then I'll use my thread to loop it round twice or three times this is another extra measure to secure the knot you really need to secure the knot because you don't want your um, wig unraveling as you know you want your wig to last so you need to kind of secure the knot every knot you tie needs to be secure I'll secure it like twice like so just pull, pull it through then use the Put it through like three times there just to secure it then i'm gonna sew it down like so using the pull and loop method just to the end sewing it closely together because i don't want it to unravel at all when you get to the end you do exactly the same you kind of secure the end by looping it through like so then you cut out the excess then I'll tie that as well I tie this like three to four times guys because I really want it to secure I don't want it unraveling I want this wig to be there So it needs to be flat like so i'm just gonna do the other side start in the middle secure it just gonna follow the same method i did earlier and at the bottom at the end i secure the knot there as well so the thread Tie the thread as well. That's it. Now we've kind of finished with the frontal. That's really neat and smooth. No bumps anywhere. Then we're going to put in the bonders. I'm just going to use an eyeliner and I would use a white eyeliner to just um, put a line through where I would. Um, sew the bundles so it, as a beginner it's really key to know where you will be sewing the bundles so this is kind of a tip for a beginner if you're just starting out on wigs and um, you use the white eye pencil or chalk if you have a chalk and um, just draw a line like so like a smile type of facing upwards that's what i'm doing just to the middle there so when you get to the top like so you you start changing it so you do like an inverted c see i've changed the line so it's not coming from like a c but upside down kind of c um but yeah just like so so the lines will just go like so and i'll just fill in the lines like so this really gives you a good guide on where to kind of sew your bundles in so this is kind of the finished way she, so yes so i'll start putting my bundles and i'm just showing what how you sew your bundles in 
just like so, line by line. It's really easy to follow when you've got the lines in place. So I'm just going to start another tip for a beginner. Use a T-pin to kind of hold down where you want to sew. So I'm just putting it in the start, in the middle and in the end. And then I'll start sewing through my bundles. First, I secure the first um, thread as well, just like I did when I did the frontal. I secure it like twice and I put it through the weft as well because the first one I tried to put it through the weft because I really want it flat and secure at the end. Put the first one through the weft but the others I put around the weft. When I get to the end I put the last one through the weft as well and I secure it by looping it around twice, tying it just to make it very secure. I cut my wefts guy, I cut the tracks because I realized that it, it's flat when you cut the um, tracks as opposed to flipping over um, the tracks. So I cut my tracks because I've realized from doing wigs for years, it, it's flat when you, when you cut the tracks. So I'm just going to keep sewing. This is kind of the first bundle. Almost done. This is the first bundle and now I'm using the 20, the, the 22 bundle. So this is the next one. Doing a week takes time. So you need to have a, a whole day cleared like a all afternoon to do your week and you need to take your time to do your weeks. You can't rush it, rush the week guys, because if you do it um, in a rush or you do big, it's just going to, yeah. This is the second bundle done and now I'm adding the third bundle. So this is kind of how I'm going to place it. So I'm just showing you how I'm going to sew it through. So like I was saying, you need to pencil time to do it. You need to do close stitches. You don't want your stitches too much. And um, you want your stitches to be neat and secured so they don't come um, apart. If your wig comes apart, then all your hard work is, you know, is gone so this is let me show you what i'm doing in terms of okay so we've got to the last part so i'm just showing you how i kind of do the final part so you put the thread through your track through your lace and through your um, wig so three places so you kind of secure the tree so through your weft through your um lace and through the wig cap so you kind of secure it like that. So I'm trying to, I'm sewing like three things together. So I'm trying, sewing the frontal, I'm sewing the, I'm taking a bit of the uh, wig cap and I'm taking a bit of the, um, just around the weft and that's kind of just, just like I'm doing, just like so. <laughs> so that's kind of how to secure, finally secure your wig. So that's the end. So that's the last one I'm putting in and I'm just doing just, just like so. So this puts your wigs together, kind of puts it together and it makes it really flat and secure. This is really important guys. You need to just make sure your pin and your needle go through the lace, through the wig cap and through your, around your track as well.
I'll continue like so to the end and then any extra from the bundles I'll just put it in the middle like so and after that I'll just cut out the extra wig part from where the frontal is just like so and then that's it guys watch out for part 3 where I'll be customizing this frontal bye